Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Griselda Arau, and I'm the founder and director of British House. And this year, we're celebrating our 20th anniversary. So we're so glad and so proud and grateful to have been able to, to do our passion, which is teaching languages for 20 years. And we're looking forward to many more in the future. Um, you have two more videos that you may want to have a look at. There is one video of an introduction, so they are previous to this one. And there's another video about our method Thrive, which um, summarizes our philosophy of teaching and the pillars of our methodology. And in this third video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the services and activities that you have when you're a student of British House. So, the most important thing, of course, is your class. Uh, you will go to class, you will enjoy it with your teacher, with your classmates, and that's great, and you're gonna love it. And besides that, once you go out, British House provides several activities and several services to make sure that your contact with the language that you're learning is not just in class. You know that in class you have total immersion and you're immersed in the language as if you were abroad. And what we're trying is that when you finish the class, you have other opportunities in which you can practice the language. So an important service that you have at your reach is the, um, our, our head of studies. Our head of studies is there for you at any time uh, and to give you advice on anything that you need, especially if you want to take some official exam or if you want to study abroad or if you have any project in mind, you can always ask your teacher, but you know that there is the figure of the head of studies and you can always ask for an interview or a meeting with her to, to discuss these matters. And on top of that, the head of studies is also there for you to make sure that you follow the rhythm of the classes. So it may be the case that you are ill, it may be the case that you have to travel, or it may be the case that you're going to class, but for some reason you feel that you're a bit behind. You have at your disposal private classes, I we call them tutorials and tutorials with our head of studies, or she may designate a teacher for you, to make sure that you don't lose the rhythm. It's so important that you keep motivated, that you keep the rhythm, that if for any reason you cannot go to class, you can always contact reception and they will give you the contents that have been done, they will give you the homework that has been given, and on top of that, you know that you have these free classes for you to catch up. What else? Besides that, you have a beautiful library at your disposal. So you have books and magazines and, and newspapers and CDs. I really recommend that you have a look at it because it's so nice that maybe you're going to the pool, you're going to the beach and you can borrow a magazine and you can continue learning the language in a different context outside the classroom. So that's something really, really worth um, looking at. On top of that, we have this calendar of activities, uh, free activities outside the classroom. And we have activities for all ages. So we have activities for kids. For example, we have story time in English, or we have music workshop in English, or crafts in English, mostly English, because for kids, that's mostly the language that we teach. But there's also, um, we also teach Japanese um, to kids and German to kids. So there's activities for this age. There's also activities for teenagers. And of course, when we make the program, we think, what is it that interests this age, in, the case, in this case, teenagers? What is it that they like? What is it that they appreciate? Uh, so in the case of teenagers, of course, everything that has to do with technology, everything that has to do with projects, with the trips, um, I remember that we did this, uh, this uh, trip that was very successful, escape room in English. Uh, so um, it was really cool, it was really fun, and students had the opportunity to use the language outside the classroom. On top of that, we have activities for adults. So in the case of adults, mainly adults are interested in communication. So everything that has to do with communication is really very useful and very successful. So things like English for traveling, or um, speaking on the phone, or um, emails, or things related to business. Um, something also that has been very successful with adults have been our language tasting. Instead of wine tasting, language tasting, 
So we have these workshops in which you can taste the language. So maybe you're fluent in English and you're thinking of studying uh, a second language and you don't know which. So you can go and have your Russian day or your Japanese day or your uh, um, German day and then decide which is the best for you. So this is something we're very proud of, our calendar, uh, our program of activities. And we really uh, recommend you to, to look at it because it gives you this opportunity to continue learning in a fun, cool environment. On top of that, what happens if you cannot make it because you're working, you're busy, whatever? We also have activities in, on YouTube. So we, you can watch these videos over and over again. And again, you also have, very similar to what I've just said, which is face to face but you have it in videos uh, on YouTube. So uh, for instance, I have a son that is um, almost two years uh, old now, and he loves the songs. He knows them by heart, and I know them too as a result. So you can find that in our YouTube channel, or you have this series that have been very, very successful, which is called um, English Tips. Like there is the like, grammar tips and speaking tips. So these are short videos, very fun, and very interesting, very useful things like differences between American English and British English, or um, when to use the first conditional and the second one, things like that, or things connected to pronunciation or to, to idioms. Anyway, so you have activities face to face, and you have also activities online in our YouTube channel. And um, you have some more services, I don't want to make this too long, but of course we have all our international programs so you can travel abroad and you can always have uh, some um, assessment and some, you can ask questions about that. For the parents, we have um, a very, very um, close um, follow-up with them, so not only do our students have um, notes in the diary every day so that parents know how the kids are doing but also there is this term report in which the teacher explains in detail how the term has been and then there's the meetings at the end of the course but on top of that you don't need to wait for the meetings really so if you have any doubt or you want to speak with your teacher you are always welcome to do so when you come to pick up your kid or you can always call the school and then you can speak with the head of studies or with the teacher directly. So these are some of the services, especially I wanted to tell you about the activities um, and about the library and about the free classes that you have to catch up. But there's many more. So if you have any question um, about our services or our, about our activities, please feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 93-586-0825. Yes, and also if you check our website, www.richhouse.es, you will see information about us and also you will have all our contact details. If you, if you want to send us an email, you can also check our team, get our profiles, you have lots of information there. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you have any doubt, any question, please let us know. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.